Not many politicians would boast about a record of 44 elections and no wins, except John Turmel. He's run against opponents such as Brian Mulroney and Sheila Copps. And though he's never won a seat, he's won a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for contesting more elections than anyone else on the planet. But he does win at the gambling tables, financing his campaigns with poker and blackjack winnings. This month, he was in the news, again, running for the regional chair of Ottawa Carleton. We followed Tremel for his 44th kick at the electoral can. <laughs> Hey, it's Thornfield Place Retirement Home, which is in Bell's Corners, west end of Ottawa. John has uh, been a guest uh, uh, accordion player here uh, maybe a dozen times or more. Uh, as a personality, I've known him for a long time, and that uh, my father ran for politics as a member of parliament locally. And the first time I saw John was in the boat. The early 80s, he ran as a candidate in one of the uh, campaigns. I think he likes to be the center of attention. Uh, running in the pol political campaigns gives him uh, to a certain degree in that he will have the uh, podium and everybody's listening. <laughs> Wherever there was a federal election or by-election, I was there. I, I ran against Brian Mulroney in Nova Scotia way back in 83, and I've run down in Toronto and London and Kitchener and uh, all over. Wherever there are by-elections, I go. And uh, in the anthology of great Canadian characters, I'm one of them. And uh, they quote a thing at the end that says there are four major powers in Canadian politics that are present at all elections. The Liberals, the Conservative, the NDP, and John Turnell. Now, sometimes you might get a Green or a Commie or a Marxist Leninist, but you could always count on the big four, and I was one of them. Did you get one? How the software works? Uh, right now, there's uh, Peter Clark, Bob Chiarelli, and myself running for the chairman of the Regional Municipality of Ottawa Carlton. It's my 44th race, and I'm always pushing the same program, trying to abolish interest rates, and uh, I want to use the LET software to do that. LET stands for Local Employment Trading System. I system for trading employment locally, and it allows unemployed people to barter their time back and forth doing things for each other, um, and, to, and they use their own personal currency. Oh, we have a long history together. Actually, in 1979, I was campaign manager in the federal election for Lloyd Francis, uh, who became speaker ultimately in Ottawa West, and that was John Fromell's first election campaign, um, and uh, we got to know each other at that point. Back then, his, his agenda was to legalize gambling, and uh, it was for about eight or ten elections, and then he gradually uh, matured into other issues, such as his LUTS program that he talks about. So uh, he's been a colorful uh, personality around uh, Ottawa. When the media have a debate, they don't include me. They end up saying, gee, there was nothing approaching as a compelling verbal duel. It certainly doesn't make for great television. Well, if you cut your most radical character off the debate, you deserve a boring show. <laughs> <laughs> I think he enjoys it. I think he enjoys entertaining. Uh, and most of the people who attend the uh, All Candidates uh, debate, for example, are quite entertained. Uh, I really think he, he believes uh, in, in the cause that he's talking about. Uh, he's well researched on it. He just uh, puts his cause forward. And, uh, he does it with humor uh, and panache. I'll pay my tax for army and police to handle strife. I'll pay my tax for doctors and nurses who protect my life. I'll pay my tax for all engaged repairing road and sewer. I'll pay my tax for social servants helping out the poor. I'll even pay my tax for bureaucrats with no regret. But I object to paying tax for interest on debt. <laughs> <laughs>
I think he's uh, got a different agenda than a lot of people, but uh, he's a very credible individual. He's an upstanding citizen, uh, other than some of his little uh, gambling pursuits, I guess. But uh, uh, he's, uh, he's well-respected and uh, uh, well-liked in the area. My name is Teresa Turmel, and I'm John Turmel's mother. I could start by saying that he was never like anybody else when he was young, okay? And uh, it used to bother me a lot when I would see him playing card and playing solitaire. And it turn, turns out he's making his living out of that. So what can I say? You know, I can't say I don't agree. And who keeps mother going with the, with the cars and sending her south? And so it was good that I, you know, I, uh, I didn't stop him from doing what he wanted to do. He wanted to go to, to Vegas. And uh, he, I was, you know, just had a little house, was making the payments and everything. I was working, though, know, working as a translator. And uh, so anyway, I, I didn't have the money. And uh, he said, uh, where well, can we go? Would you go make a loan? Well, I go and try. So I got a $3,000 loan. And he went to Vegas. And he came back, and he had 1,600, 1,600, more than the ready left with. But I was, I never regretted it. Why should I? <laughs> well, that was my first junk into, junk into Las Vegas back in 1974. And, uh... You needed three thousand dollars up front in those days. I didn't have three thousand bucks, and I knew I could beat Vegas because I'd learned how to count the cards. So I talked my mother into going to a bank and making a loan to send me to gamble in Vegas, and she did. How many mothers you know would do that? <laughs> blackjack. I'm just banned from playing blackjack in Vegas, not poker. Poker, the house don't mind if you win because they just take a rake off out of your winnings. It's not like you're beating them. Go beat them and craps a uh, blackjack or men will change their mind, you know? They don't like that. Good. Victory again. I'm Pauline Morissette, John Schmel's associate partner, ally, whatever, for 13 years. And I remember taking a course one time, and I sat there, and this gentleman sat beside me, and he says, I can't imagine what life with John Schmel would be like. I said, well, it's uh, very similar to a roller coaster. I said, the highs are high, the lows are low. And I said, you know, you kind of feel nauseated all the time. <laughs> Anyway, God forbid if you even want to watch it. <laughs> Regional Chair Peter Clark lost his job yesterday to Bob Chiarelli by a margin so small that the votes cast for perennial fringe candidate John Turmel would have covered the spread. Bob Chiarelli, 81,926, Peter Clark, 79,128, and John Thurmel, 4,126. Two and a half percent. They only predicted and told I'd get one. Well, I went over to Peter's party for a couple of hours, and then Bob's party for a couple of hours, and uh, I was looking around, and I noticed that with Bob, there were eight different people in the room who'd beaten me before. Two, three federal MPs, Mac Harb, uh, Lloyd Francis from my first election in 79, Marlene Catterall. Two mayors who beat me, Jim Durrell and Ben Franklin, Ottawa and Nepean. And uh, two provincial MPPs, Richard Patton and Alex Cullen, and now a regional chair up there. I said, hey, they could have a convention of guys who beat Termel. Well, I don't foresee any federal elections for four years, provincial for two, uh, municipal for three. So it looks like I got two years off except for by-elections. And uh, after 44 elections, I could use a little bit of a break. Gonna take off going down to Atlantic City to play some poker for a month or so. Then off to Biloxi, Mississippi, play poker there for a month or so. Then probably off for a couple of months to Australia. So it looks like next year's gonna be pretty busy on the international front. I figure I'll be more famous than Einstein. 
think I don't know where I'm going to sit in the scheme of things. Let them laugh. Johnny Engineer knows where he's going to end up in the history book.